In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can update your iPhone software using a Mac. The first thing you need to do is to open the Finder. Once you've done this, you want to go ahead and plug your iPhone into your Mac using the charging cable. Now you want to go ahead and unlock your iPhone. When you do this, you may get a pop-up granting permission to connect to the Mac, so you want to allow this. Now we've connected our iPhone, you should see it in the Locations tab in the left-hand side menu, so you want to click on that. If you don't see it in the left-hand side menu, you want to go up to the Finder in the top system menu bar, and in the drop-down menu, you want to select Settings. Once you're inside the Finder settings, you want to select the sidebar tab and in the drop down menu you want to find CDs, DVDs and iOS devices and make sure this is selected. Now we've done this we can exit out of the finder settings and you should see it listed here. If you don't you want to go ahead and reconnect your iPhone. Once you're inside the iPhone menu you want to select check for update and then it's going to take a few seconds to fetch the new update for your iPhone. If there is an available update it's going to appear here so you want to go ahead and select update now and you want to leave your iPhone connected to your Mac during the process. However, I'm already updated to the latest version, so I'm going to select OK. If for some reason the update isn't being fetched, or it keeps failing, then you may need to update your iPhone manually. So to do this, we're first going to open our web browser, and you want to go to ipsw.me, and I'll leave this linked in the description below. From here, you want to select your device, which is iPhone, and then we're going to select our device model. So for the example of this video, it's going to be iPhone 15 Pro. And then you want to go ahead and select the update that you want to download to your iPhone. Assuming it's the latest one, it's going to be near the top. So it's going to be iOS 26.1 for this example. And in the update page, you want to scroll down and you want to select download. Now you want to go ahead and download this to your Mac. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. And this may take a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the speed of your internet. So now we've downloaded the iOS firmware for our iPhone. You want to go ahead and open up your Finder. And go back into your iPhone menu. Then where it says check for updates, you want to hold the option key and click check for update. And you should see this box. And you want to go ahead and choose the firmware we just downloaded and select open. This is going to go ahead and apply the firmware update to your iPhone. And that's it. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like. 